Hi guys. Um, I'm dealing with a lot of sunshine here as I make this quick video, so uh, I hate to complain about it because it's been so gray and gloomy this winter, um, but it might not be the best for showing everything off. But I intend to just make um, a short video now to kind of introduce an idea that I'm planning um, and have already started working on for my traveler's notebook for Coco Daisy. So um, I'll get to that in a minute, but I wanted to show you first what I did with Coco Daisy's Fresh Cut uh, kit, which is really a beautiful kit, um, in my One Little Word album. I know uh, many of you participate in this project, this uh, uh, choosing a word to, to guide the year. And, um, and for me this year, my word is choose. And Ellie Edwards uh, has a workshop um, in which she has us do uh, different projects and different months of the year related to our words. And for February, the um, February, the project is to create a vision board. And a lot of people do that with um, magazines and images um, that they they find. Um, I I like to work in the album and use two by two page pro uh, page protectors. So. Um, so I used the Fresh Cut kit to do this kind of collage work, and I wanted to uh, just kind of flip through that for you since it's one of the first things I made with uh, Coco Daisy's kit this month. The, the kit, the pocket page uh, cards are really, really wonderful this month, and so I um, just used one of them uh, here with uh, some stickers from the kit and a uh, a leaf from an earlier kit that just adds a little little bit of um, interest to the card. And then I'll write on this card at the end of February. So besides the vision board, I'll have a little bit of um, um, recap of my word for the month. Um, so here's a, this page is a kind of a, a divider page made with some paper from the kit, really pretty, and this gorgeous washi tape which I do have right here. Most of my supplies are packed up because I'm gonna be traveling this weekend and using them. But, uh, okay, so very, very colorful. And here's the intro page to the vision board. You can see I just cut a lot of uh, little squares and use stickers, flowers, things like that from the kit. Um, here it is in its entirety with the big word choose on it. And um, you can see how beautiful these papers are when cut into two by two squares. I think it's really a lot of fun just to see what happens um, to paper when it's uh, you know cut into different sizes. And a paper that you might not be as fond of when it's larger, you might like really love once you cut it up. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, okay, so the, uh, the stamps that I've been using are from the pocket kit. Uh, they're great stamps in both kits this month. Um, so, uh, so anyway, that was, that was really appropriate here with a deeper breath. <laughs> and um, that's that. Okay, I'm going to make a switch here to, um, to the Traveler's Notebook. And the, the Traveler's Notebook this month is really pretty with its floral motifs. I... Um, I decided to do a number-based theme for my pages, and I really want to complete the whole notebook. So the, the next video that I post will, um, will take you through the whole notebook once I'm done. But I wanted to just kind of introduce this, this project on this very sunny day. Um, I took some numbers and just stamped on the, um, the little title area on the notebook insert. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of photos in here that I haven't worked with yet, so I'm just gonna kind of flip through and, and skip those until, until I get the pages done. This is one of the first I did, and it's called 10 Rainbow Carrots. I painted uh, in watercolor um, these rainbow carrots, and um, since this is very much a watercolor-based, uh, theme-based kit, I went ahead and uh, plunged right in with this page, using uh, the background paper, which is very much like a watercolor palette or a swatch book for watercolor. It's just so much fun. Um, use some rub-ons, which always look really amazing on the page. Uh, die cut some letters and then also uh, use the alpha. I think they're beautiful sets in, in all the kits. I think this one might be from the pocket kit, but I wanted the green to pick up the green and the carrots. Oh, one other thing to notice about this page is that it has a horizontal um, orientation. And I'm experimenting with that a little bit more. Uh, I think that's kind of a fun, that's fun. It's just an interesting way to change things up. So uh, keep that in mind as an option. 
Okay, so anyway, the number 10 appears here. The number seven appears on this page, which is gonna be, you'll have some, you'll be able to see some, some photos of it on my Instagram and also on the Coco Daisy blog by the end of the week. But um, here I took the number seven and just and these big numbers, which I've really been loving, were from the classified kit. And um, so I'm kind of just pulling those off and using them for my number theme. But the, the memory making kit has a wonderful, um, I mean, the Traveler's Notebook memory making kit has a wonderful uh, stamp set with numbers. So I'll probably be dipping into that. And I think that's a, that's a great option too. Either those stamps or some you might have in your stash. Anyway, um, used a lot of scallop shapes that I cut from the, pap uh, from the paper from the kits and just used a punch and then stitched them down, put a few little sentiments and things from the die cuts. Um, and then uh, the photo is of an altered book project I've been working on. Another, this here I'm kind of documenting quite a bit of my, uh, my art life, but that, that's fun to do. But the, the actual theme with the seven allows me to write about a, a whole variety of different things that I'm currently, currently into, currently loving. And, um, and again, the stamps that are, that are really versatile, a whole bunch of them from the, the pocket kit. Um, okay, let's skip ahead here. A few that I have not yet finished, but I'm looking forward to doing. Okay, the center, I, the center of this book has this really gorgeous uh, floral, soft floral watercolor paper. So I kept this very simple, just use the sketch that's included in the kit. So great to get that sketch every month. And here I used the number two, because uh, the title is Pack of Two. It's about myself and my dog. Love our bond. Really also these, these um, labels that come in the kit are so versatile, I'm always reaching for them. Um, let me page to a couple toward the end that I did recently. This one was lots of fun. Again, it's an art-based project. I um, painted 31 birds in December. And uh, so I document this here, which was really me time in an otherwise very busy month. And so it makes me happy to look at a few of them together. I didn't attempt to get all 31 birds on the page, um, but I did play around with the title and I used these cute little paint brushes. So, uh, so that, was, that was fun. Um, here's a page about winter evenings. And part of the reason I did this is this, this kit has some really lovely kind of touches of lavender. And I think when I think of winter evenings, I think of um, l lavender snow. I think of the snow looking a little, you know, bluer and uh, really pretty against the orange sunsets. So I'm, I'm, I'm not always a fan of winter, especially by February, but it's great to do pages like this to cheer ourselves up, right? And one of the things I wrote about in the four things that I really like about winter evenings is that the darkness is holding off a little bit longer every day. Um, so, you know, we're moving towards spring. Um, and then uh, speaking of moving towards spring, the next kit is called Cherish Blossom. And it looks like it's gonna be just really, really pretty with lots of cherry blossoms and lots of spring themes. Um, so if you want to follow along with this numbers project with me, which I, I'd love to have uh, see other people do that, um, this kit's great for it, but it's really one of those things you can do with any kit. And so uh, maybe the next kit is, uh, you know, maybe working with this theme will be uh, something you'll want to do then. Anyway, um, thanks guys. I'll, I'll be back uh, to show you more of this Traveler's Notebook once I have it, have the project complete.